You got this, Lauren. You're dope, <laughs> right? Yeah, I am really cool. Meet Lauren Gray. She's pretty famous. So today I'm going to be letting you snoop through my stuff, starting with my vanity and then my bathtub. So I'm gonna ask you extremely detailed questions about your bathroom behavior. Are you ready? I'm ready. So what is the first thing you do when you wake up? Take a shower and brush my teeth. I have three toothbrushes right now and I just kind of cycle between them. Sometimes when I go to the store, I buy things that I really don't need, toothbrushes and toothpaste and things that I think that I should stock up on, but then I don't end up using. Can you show us one of your most recent beauty purchases? I got this, which is a banana souffle moisturizer. It smells great, which is why I got it. And I haven't really used it, but it smells like banana pudding. And it's really nice. Yay or nay on bathroom selfies? Yes, I love a good bathroom selfie. I feel like if you have a cute bathroom, let it shine. Walk me through your skincare routine. For my skincare routine, I usually use cotton pads and micellar water to remove my makeup. And then I use a variation of face washes. I usually either use this one, which is the Kate Somerville one, but I switch a lot. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I don't know. I just like to try new things. And then I do a toner, but I'm not a toner, so I don't have that to show you. Usually I use like the Biore one or the Proactive one. I know there's mixed opinions on Proactive, but I like their toner. Comment below if you have face wash and toner recommendations because I need some new ones. Then I have my moisturizer. I really like this one from Pharmacy. It's the Daily Greens and the banana one. But if I'm doing my makeup, then I put the Bobbi Brown one first. I like the Bobbi Brown moisturizer for under makeup because Jeffree Star told me it was really good. Not to my face, but in a video. Show us one product here that significantly changed your skin. Coconut lip balm from Fresh. I have a really bad habit of like pulling at my lips. But when I put this stuff on, it like heals overnight miraculously. This stuff's really good, it smells great. What's your favorite piece of decor in here? My favorite piece of decor in my bathroom is this part. I really like this perfume holder and it's like a tray, it's not even meant for perfume. And this little carpet thingy I put under it. And like, I just like this whole vibe right here. What's the oldest thing here? The oldest thing here? Oh, I've had this watch. This Michael Kors watch was like one of the first things that I like bought for myself. So I've had that for a while, probably since like seventh grade, eighth grade maybe. It doesn't fit me either. It's like too big. I've never actually like really worn it, but it's sentimental, sentimental value. This bathroom feels very you. Did you decorate yourself? I did not decorate it myself. My mom helped me because my mom lived here with me when I moved in. I've put a little, I've put a couple things in here since then, but my mom's definitely the one that's better at decorating than I am. Do you ever film any of your TikToks or music videos in here? Oh yeah, I filmed a part of my music video in this very location, literally exactly where I'm sitting. I'm a baker, cake and eat the whole damn thing. Which was fun. The skylight's kind of an issue when it comes to lighting, but I filmed that whole music video myself. My friends were in it, but I didn't have any help. I just made do with what I have. So I had a shot list of the entire music video and I just went location by location. It took me four days, um, set up each thing. I had to bake a whole cake. I had to set up a bunch of party decorations. So it took a long time, but it was totally worth it. And it was a lot of work and I was very tired afterwards and never wanted to bake another cake again. Speaking of TikTok, what's your advice for someone just starting out on the platform? To be consistent with posting and creative, stepping outside the box, doing something exciting and different. But there's also, of course, trending sounds and things to participate in. So I feel like there's a good balance between those, between creativity and trends that, you know, you kind of got to find. So next up, we have my bathtub. I heard you can sing the ABCs backwards. Yeah, <laughs> it's Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J H D F E B C B A. I would go to 
like a daycare sort of thing when my dad was at the gym and they had all these bins where you trace the letters that like teach you the letters of the alphabet but I grabbed them out of order I grabbed them from Z to A instead of A to Z that's just the way that I learned it was the wrong way body wash or bar soap? Uh, I use both. I use bar soap and then I use body wash. I actually use bar soap because my mom like really advocates for it. You need to use antibacterial soap because you know, you need to kill the germs. I use bar soap first, antibacterial soap. It doesn't matter which one. I use like Dial or Thub or whatever. And then I use body wash because I don't like the way that antibacterial soap smells, but it lasts longer and I smell better for longer. And then I use like a coconut oil, uh, uh, coconut ole, like body wash because I like the way it smells, but I like the antibacterial properties of a bar soap. Are you a morning or night shower person? So I shower twice a day, but I wash my hair once a day. So I wake up and I shower because I feel like I sweat a lot in my sleep and I wake up feeling really gross. My room gets really hot at night, so I just like to shower in the morning. And then I shower at night because I, I work out at night usually. And then I wash my hair and my hair is dry the next morning. I'm not gonna sleep with sweaty hair, so. Any must-have shower products? I actually use um, Suave shampoo. I use these ones. This is like the Rosemary Mint shampoo. It's really cheap. It smells really good though. I've been using it since I was like in eighth grade. It's my favorite. Usually in the bathtub, I mean, I get the bubbles going. I have like jets, which is sick. Um, but I usually just watch a show. Like I'll put my phone right here and I'll light these candles right here and like watch a show. I just finished Avatar The Last Airbender, which is like my favorite show. I've seen it so many times. Honestly, I just watch a lot of like murder mystery shows or like crime shows. I do like reality TV. I'm very picky about it though. Like I won't just watch any reality show. I like the Netflix ones. The Circle, Too Hot to Handle, uh, Love is Blind. I've seen them all. What song do you always sing in the shower? So hear me out. I can't shower without like watching a show or like a video because I have a window in my shower. I set my phone in the window and I like shower and watch whatever I want to watch at the same time. So I don't really sing a lot in the shower. I mostly just like watch videos and that's why it takes so long. Like it's really bad. I, I listen to videos while I do my makeup. I listen to videos while I'm brushing my teeth, while I'm like in the shower. I just like, I feel like also cause I'm alone. Like I constantly have to like be listening to something. Okay, talk me through your candles. This one's my favorite back here. This one's English lavender. I really, really love anything that's lavender and so does my mom, like we have that in common. I wanna like light a candle and I wanna like, go to sleep really bad. Like y'all got me sitting in the bathtub smelling candles. I really like my bathroom. It's the biggest bathroom I've ever had. It's definitely really zen, really relaxing. I love the way it's decorated. I like my bathroom, it's fun. All right guys, that is it for my bathroom tour. I hope you enjoyed, learned something new about me and I'll see you guys next time, bye.